Next here tonight, they helped make Tampa Bay what it is today during a time when their own civil rights were very limited. ABC Action News reporter Anthony Hill takes you to the local church that inspired a movement that lives on today. The St. Paul African Methodist Episcopal Church, or AME Church, was founded in 1870 in downtown Tampa. That church drew many of the leading African-American citizens for many, many years. Some of the more notable figures who have spoken from the pulpit at the St. Paul AME Church include Congressman Oscar DePriest, baseball player Jackie Robinson, the mother of the civil rights movement, Rosa Parks, the first African-American to sit on the U.S. Supreme Court, Thurgood Marshall, and former president, Bill Clinton. When every seat in that church is filled, it would hold almost 800 people. And for many years, it was the largest building owned by African-Americans in Tampa. A lot of the civil rights meetings were held there, and a lot of the strategy that the students used in the 1960 sit-in demonstrations at the F.W. Woolworth was developed at St. Paul. Today, the St. Paul building is on the National Register of Historic Places. The church moved to East Tampa. It's in a smaller facility now, but the building that was the original St. Paul continues to look just like it did on the outside many, many years ago. St. Paul AME Church, a place that attracted notable figures to Tampa in order to fight for racial equality. St. Paul AME Church, not just black history, it's Tampa Bay history. At the Tampa Bay History Center, I'm Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.